by folded our fabric so it now measures eight by 14 and so we're going to take the eight inch end and match up both ends and so a quarter inch seam and you can baste it or you can sew it regular it does not matter So now that you've got your seam, you are going to turn this right side out with the seam on the inside. So the seam at the bottom. And then we're going to go make our pleats. We're going to do one and a half inches from your bottom seam. And I mark both sides, one and a half inches from your bottom seam. And then this is the way, I I'm gonna try to do this so it's facing you so you can see it. So I fold it so you can see both lines that will automatically give you a straight line. And then I press. So then you can see your line to make sure that it is straight. And then one inch above this, which you can mark this before you iron if you want. So now I have two lines. I'm going to take this crease that I made and we're going to match. Sam, quit kicking me. My lines. And pin. And then we are going to mark a half inch above where our pleat is. So half inch and half inch. Okay, you see that one, half inch. And then we're going to mark one inch above that line. So there's my mark, we're gonna make an inch. Up mark one inch above that line. There's my mark, we're gonna go one inch above that. And then same thing, and you, if you are comfortable making a straight line, you don't have to iron, but I find it makes sure that my pleats are straight. Thank you, Sam, for kicking the pincushion on the floor. Good helper, good helper. So then I'm gonna take this line that I just made, and we're gonna pinch it and fold it to the next line. We're gonna pin both sides. And then you repeat this step again to make your third pleat. So we're going to do half an inch above that and a half inch above this side and then an inch so you can see it so there's my lines so we're gonna fold it on the line press and then open it back up and I'm trying to do this backwards for them so line it up and then pin And then we're going to go and sew a basting stitch down each side. So a quarter inch basting stitch. Find the foot pedal. 
Sam. Hi, Sam. With this side, you need to uh, make sure that your pleats are not gonna fold back. Because they like to get caught under the foot. And so you can see that you've got a quarter inch seam on each side. 32 inches worth of bias tape double fold if you wanted to go by your own. So it needs to fold inside and then fold it again. So you wanna take it and fold it in half and find the middle part of your tape. And then you're going to find the middle part of your mask and roughly line them up. Okay. So with bias tape, if you buy it at the store as opposed to making your own, you will notice that the top side is a little bit shorter than the bottom side. This is to make sure if you sew right on the edge of the top piece that you'll catch the bottom piece. And then, I'm turn this back. All right, so you just, just me. I'm so. There it goes. It's like... So you want You want to make sure your raw edge is caught. And you will have to go slower over your pleats because they're thick. And you can take the pin out. And if you want, you can go makes it a little bit more sturdy if you add a stitch at the edge of your mask. Uh, double check and make sure that you caught all of your seam and then repeat for the other side. Okay, all right, so here's your mask over your nose. Can you tie it at the top? And then make sure this comes down below your chin. 